be doing to some more Mugen. Uh, we're going to be going over some uh, matches with Katsumi. Uh, basically, my idea here is that I'm going to be pitting Katsumi up against people just like I did with Hanayama. And we're going to be seeing, you know, if his Mugen is really anything like his character. So, you know, if it's anything like his actual character, then hopefully, you know, we'll start a few matches, we'll, you know, go through a few fights, and Katsumi will lose every single fight, because that's pretty much all he ever does in the actual show. So, uh, let's get cracking. So, first match is going to be against Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, if you're wondering what this map in the background is, uh, it's the laboratory where the uh, German Third Reich... Uh, discovered San Viento, or Santana, depending on what version of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2 you watched. Uh, sometimes, yeah, we see the Pillar Man in the back there, just above where they're fighting right now, I believe Joseph is in there, and Von Stronheim is above their heads to the left. But, uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish talking about the map before Katsumi already lost. He's already showing his true colors, as he does in the show. You know, he talks a big talk all the time, but the only person off the top of my head I remember him actually defeating was the Yasha Ape, and that's like, I mean, I guess it's impressive? Like, technically the Yasha Ape is the strongest animal on the planet, but, uh, I don't know, it's just, I mean, I mean what he did right there was pretty cool, he did a lot of flip de doos um... And, you know, that, that, that's kind of cool, because when you think about it, if you guys remember, Katsumi's backstory is as a uh, trapeze... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there goes his arm. Uh, so, that was pretty good. Uh, but basically what I was saying is Katsumi's background is as a trapeze artist in a circus. So it makes sense that he's got a lot of flips and all that great stuff. But, um... We just got an awesome showing of the Hitless Blow, the true Mach Fist. Uh, yeah, and there's his normal Mach Fist. That's the one he was using against Hanayama in the Maximum Tournament. But the one he just used on Piccolo to destroy him was the one that he used to hurt Pickle. It's the only thing that he's ever done right in his entire life, and that's the Mach Fist. Uh, but, you know, Piccolo's putting up a, a valiant effort against him. Uh, but Katsumi's going to take it. He actually defeated Piccolo. Alrighty, so, uh, I don't know if that model of Piccolo was the best, so I'm trying a different model just to see if Piccolo's really got the stuff to take out Katsumi, because, to be fair, you know, Piccolo did take round one, uh, this, this one at least looks aesthetically better, though I, I don't think he's performing as well, hopefully, you know, he just needs his AI to wake up, but, um, yeah, Katsumi actually won a match. I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, it's not like his Mugen is bad. It's more so like a running joke in the series that he pretty much loses every fight he's in. Uh, and he's not even like a weak character or anything. He's like a decent character. He's just kind of... Oh, oh, that was cool. He did like a spinning back kick into like a mock punch combo. See, he's got like... He's got cool moves. He's a pretty decent character. Um, it's just like he's... He is the closest thing in the Baki series to a Vegeta. He talks big, he talks a lot of shit, and then he walks into the fight and he loses, like, instantly. Like, he gets bodied. Um, yeah, like, his greatest moment, as we see him, like, spamming Mach Punch and destroying Piccolo in the corner here. Um, yeah, his greatest moment in the entire manga was probably when he used the, the hitless blow, the true Mach Punch, and he, like, he was the first person to ever actually hurt Pickle. Now, granted, Pickle didn't even use his full power, but, like, he used, like, the, the, the true mock punch, and everyone was like, oh, Katsumi's great. You know, Kakukai was like, in a few days, he's progressed in karate, like, in, f like, 50 years worth of fighting. You know, Baki's like, he's finally done it. You know, he's amazing. Even Tokugawa's like, oh, such skill. And everyone's really like, oh, man, he's, he's really impressive. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> that lasts for all of, like, maybe two chapters, because he uses the, uh, hitless blow a few times, and every time he uses it, basically, the sound barrier, breaking the sound barrier, destroys whatever limb he uses to attack with the true mock punch. Uh, that's why in that little, uh, outro scene, after he used it to defeat Piccolo that one time, 
you basically saw his entire arm explode. It's because that's pretty much what happens in the manga. Like, he completely loses the use of his arm. It, like, rips off all the muscle, all the skin, and it destroys the bone. It really messes up his arm to use that move. It's his most powerful move, but it comes at a great price. But, um, I mean, yeah, he, he uses it. He loses his arm. Um, <laughs> and Pickle is like, yeah, that move hurts, but you can only use it four times, and... You're doing more damage to yourself when you use that move than you are me, so I could literally defeat you by doing nothing, and that's kind of what he does. But, because he's able to do so much damage to Pickle despite being like a small, normal-sized person and nowhere near as big and strong as Pickle, you know, Pickle respects him and doesn't kill him and eat him. But, uh, speaking of being killed, we just saw Piccolo bite the big one again. Katsumi's on a bit of a streak here. Alright, so this one should be a little more interesting. We have uh, Katsumi versus uh, Nega Ryo. Uh, it's basically Ryo from uh, <laughs> King of Fighters and um, uh, Fatal Fury. It's basically him, but like a evil, like, buffed version. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, with how well he's doing with these combos and these special attacks... Uh, yeah, he's he's a bit more of a, uh, a lethal factor against uh, Katsumi, which, you know, I... Oh, oh, I think he just went for a counter and failed miserably. That, that kind of sucks. Uh, but that is in character. Uh, um, but yeah, you know, Katsumi, with his nickname being the lethal weapon, because he can turn his own body into a, a lethal weapon, you know, he is not doing that here, and he's not having a good time against, you know, this guy. Maybe, maybe Ryo is going to take his title of lethal weapon. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of cool moves. I, I especially like, uh, you know, Ryu. I like his little jab he does there. It's like a three, three spot jab. Uh, and he's whipping out this awesome combo. I'm not exactly sure what the end gauge does. Oh, oh, look at that. He, oh my god, I just noticed the damage. I was about to say, oh, good job, Katsumi. You, you baited him into the, uh, the counter, but how much did it really do for you? And then I looked at how much it did for him. I was like, okay, you literally just even the playing field with one attack. But... Nega Gage is getting full. Katsumi's, Katsumi's trying to launch a comeback. Maybe he does? Okay. Oh, oh! Okay, okay, okay. Katsumi launches a comeback. On the brink of destruction, he comes back and he defeats a almost full N Gage Nega Rio. Not bad. All right, all right. They're going to have to change his nickname from Lethal Weapon to Comeback Kid because uh, he's actually doing pretty decently here. Uh, but I, I do like, as I was saying before, all that insane insanity. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I gotta say, I, I do like how that little jab that Ryo does looks. The little three-spot jab, he just pop, 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 pop. Like, you can't go low because he's gonna hit you. You can't go mid because he's gonna hit you. You can't go high because he's gonna hit you. And because it's a jab, you know, he's literally just trying to catch you with a hit. Oh, he, oh, oh! Oh, I thought he failed. I thought he failed the counter, but he got the counter. Rio jumped right in. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was really close. Oh, man, Katsumi. Okay, he lost, but, like, props out to Katsumi. <laughs> All right. Katsumi's coming off of a loss, but an extremely close fight. So he is now 2-1. Uh, but I, you know, I think that that I think Katsumi deserves, you know, some some honor in that fight. You know, he definitely held his own. He came back from the brink of defeat, and he almost took the W. But Nega Rio was just too much to handle. So let's see how Nega Joe does. Uh, Rio, if I remember correctly, is a fellow karate practitioner, but uh, Joe here is a Muay Thai fighter. So let's see, you know, which style is superior in this specific instance. You know. Ah, there he goes. If, if he gets that counter, he does so well. It does so much damage. I don't think it does as much damage as his true mock punch, but as you can see, it's mainly the reason why he just won that match. Uh, I also believe that it heavily contributed to his comeback against Nega Rio, but you know, Katsumi's looking a lot better against Nega Joe here. Um, I mean, I think... Uh, you know, Katsumi's got a decent chance here, especially if he keeps doing that. But 
you know, to be fair, I don't know a whole lot about uh, Jill. I've never actually played a Fatal Fury or King of Fighters game. I'm just a big fan of a lot of the characters because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of martial arts games and fighting games in general, but it looks like Hatsumi's going to take the W here. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I see we got the uh, the JoJo map. Um, this is less of, like, a stereotypical fighting map, and this is more so, like, a... You know, I, I, I'm a fan of JoJo. I'm a pretty big fan of JoJo. We got, like, the tarot cards in the back, or, like, the different stands and their users. We have Jotaro on one side and Dio on the other. It's more of just, like, a, you know, fun JoJo map. Uh, but Katsumi is fighting quite an opponent here. Uh, her AI is pretty decent, but her strong suit is actually her weird hitbox uh, and, and, her, and her panties and her jiggle physics. Yeah, okay. Um... I swear, I downloaded this character because I, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a fighting character, I swear. Uh, in any case, yeah, uh, Hong, one of her main attributes that, like, is really good, I find actually gets her the win against a lot of characters, even characters with better AI and better stats than her, is her weird hitbox. She's a, she's a 3D character, and it seems that that kind of reflects in her hitbox. Uh, I mean, he, you're able to grab her like you see with Katsumi. It's not impossible to hit her. Yeah, but that's that's the outcome of most fights, because a lot of hits that phase through her, yeah, they don't actually hit her, because of her hitbox. Ah, fighting Mizo. Uh, Mizuguchi, if I remember correctly, his AI is actually pretty top-notch. But, I suppose we're about to find out. I mean, he's he's got a good offensive so far. He, you know, he tapped in, tried a range attack. You know, Katsumi is... He's okay with defense but he's doing horribly for pressure right now like he's being completely pressured he's been backed into a corner and we're watching Katsumi get slaughtered with this beautiful scenery in the background I believe this is a Street Fighter map uh, it's a bridge you know we got the railing on the side um, you know I'm actually kind of surprised you know I was half expecting Katsumi to get perfected but he almost got Mizo down to half health um yeah I mean in a real fight, I'm not sure who would come out on top. Uh, I like to think that if Katsumi landed a mock fist uh, at the cost of one of his arms, it would eh, at least be effective. Um, but in this fight, at the very least, I can't speak for things like uh, I can't speak for things like um, you know AI or not AI. I can't speak for things like moves because they've both got some pretty decent moves, but. Judging based off of what we're seeing right now, I think it's pretty clear who has the better AI. <laughs> ah, Raoul from Fist of the Northern Star. I mean, I, I've i never watched Fist of the Northern Star, I've said before. Um, but, you know, in all fairness, I do like the characters. Like... Kenshiro is a staple in anime, no matter, like, what kind of anime you're into, no matter, like, what you watch, whatever, everyone knows the Oh My Wo Motion did you. That's, like, that's, like, that's a super meme, you know? But as far as, like, the other characters, I'm not too well-versed with him. I actually, I think I just called this guy Rao, and he is most clearly and certainly not Rao. Uh, he is, however, dead, because I got some bad news. If you watched my uh, Matsuo video on uh, Mugen, my first one, with all the jank-ass framing, um, you would know that Kenshiro has a good AI, but there is a version of him, the 31T, which I made the cheesy-ass joke that it was 31 trash, uh, but I stand by the statement. It was cheesy, but I stand by it. Uh, and that AI was really bad. That's kind of the same deal with... Um, this guy's AI, he's, uh, in the whole match, I think, so far, in, in, like, everything that's happened, he's barely done any damage, and he's only struck three pressure points. Like, three of the, like, what is it, seven? Uh, two that round, and then one last round, and Katsumi's already won. So, next. Majin Vegeta. <clears throat> now, this would obviously be a wash if this was a real fight. However, I do like seeing, you know, an even playing field. You know, is Katsumi's skill and his techniques, are they able to overcome Vegeta's 
big ass forehead he keeps slapping into Katsumi's thighs. <laughs> I also like to see how like the character with like he's like he's got a smaller hitbox and stuff. So how does that interact with Katsumi's moves? Like he can't go for a lot of highs unless he's literally doing something like as we just saw, like coming down on him like Thor's hammer. But uh you know, Majin Vegeta's actually not doing too bad for himself. I remember in the <laughs> the match that got all messed up in the recording last time. Uh, Super Vegito versus uh, Hanayama. Super Vegito got destroyed. It was pretty bad. It was it was Super Vegito trying to fly between Hanayama's legs, and then Hanayama doing one of those nuclear bomb uppercuts. Ooh, ooh, cats me, cats me. He just failed a counter. I love how he runs. If you if you see him run across the stage, I think that's a callback or like a reference or whatever to when he ran away from uh, Roland Eustis. Okay, okay, belts off the uh, mock punch combo. Yeah, I think there's a reference to when he fought Roland Eustace, uh, when he was fighting this guy, you know, Roland Eustace, he, he's like a joint fetishist. He likes breaking things he always has from a young age, so he learned a bunch of martial arts that would allow him to, you know, do submissions and holds, and, and basically he wanted to dismantle joints. That was his whole thing. So Katsumi's, like, running away from him to, like, tire him out or whatever, or, like, psych him out. Just He's just being an asshole. That, that was Katsumi's main character trait in the Maximum Tournament. He was an asshole. Like, this Roland guy could put a lion, an African lion, into an armbar. That's how good he was. And Katsumi was just toying with him. Uh, as we... Is that doing no damage? Is that... Is he about to, like, one-shot him? Oh, no, okay. It did a lot of damage, but I was, I was half expecting, like, you know, it was a 50-hit combo with, like, a big... Oh! Oh, is he about to final... Oh! Wow, is this gonna be a draw? Because they're both dying? Oh, no! Oh! I think Majin Vegeta lives on, like, one health. Yeah! Wow! So Majin Vegeta just blew himself up and yet somehow lived on one health. I'm still struggling to find out how to logically justify that but you know Katsumi in a very close match Katsumi lost he just about put the work on Majin Vegeta but at the last second he belted off like a 50 hit combo and then blew himself up so I mean hell <clears throat> props to Majin Vegeta it was a good fight but uh Mr. Boo is not afforded the same chance to defeat Katsumi he's not doing nearly as well as Majin Vegeta <clears throat> Which, I mean, you know, to be fair, this is Mr. Boo, who, I, if I remember correctly, is weaker than Majin Boo, And I, I believe the intention here, because Mr. Boo in Super, of course, is stronger than <coughs> Majin Boo, to my knowledge. But, I believe this is Mr. Boo from Super, or not Super, I just said that. Uh, Mr. Boo from Z. So, he is significant, I believe he's the weakest version of Majin Boo, And it really shows with this ass whooping he's taken from Katsumi. And that's going to do it. And also, you know, shouts out to this weird map where the dude's standing in a spotlight for no reason. Now, this should be a good fight. Yang, Street Fighter character, I recognize him. I, I don't know if he is... His first appearance was Street Fighter V, but... Or not Street Fighter V, Street Fighter IV. That's where I recognize him from. And I also know for a fact, I have on good authority at the very least, that this Yang has an amazing AI. Like, maybe not like, you know, top-tier ultra god mode... Uh, AI, but you know, it's pretty strong and he's got some decent attacks as well. He's got some kind of combo bar there I'm interested to see where that goes, but you know, Katsumi's putting up a decent defense. You know, you got to give it to the boy He's really trying here. Oh Okay So Yang's bar just build up after uh, he landed that really solid attack there Okay. Oh, oh look at that. Yang is gonna take it this round. Katsumi did pretty good. He he put up a, a half decent fight against Yang. You know, almost put him in the ground. But you know, first round is going to go to Yang. Let's see if he can take it home. We haven't seen Katsumi attempt any true mock punches or any hitless blows as of recent. So you know, maybe if he were to use that, I mean, it's really a do or die. If I remember correctly, um, from this Mugen, they are quite realistic to the mock punch in that. If he, oh, he really tried to get that good combo, that, that big damage from the combo. But if he lands a true mock punch, and he doesn't kill his opponent, it does, like, big damage to the opponent, but it does decent damage to himself as well. 
But it don't matter because Yang wins. <laughs> hey guys, here's an idea. Katsumi couldn't beat Yang, so let's put him up against Sagat. <laughs> And you can see that it's the same uh, Mugen character author because he used the combo bar. Like, maybe that isn't indicative of, like, you know, that it's made by the same person, but two things are telling me yes. Uh, that ass whooping that he just gave to Katsumi, he literally perfected him. That's, that's a, that's a ultra mega oof right there but um yeah i haven't i don't think i've ever seen this combo bar on like any character other than like uh, you know the, these couple street fighter characters i have um you know and shout out to katsumi if you uh direct your eyes to sagat's uh health bar you know right before he kills katsumi here you will see that he has taken damage you know props to katsumi he actually he actually hit sagat before he was completely decimated <laughs> You know, it's starting to feel more and more like the anime for Katsumi. Because he's, like, lost, like, what, four fights in a row? Three fights in a row? And from what I know of Krauser, and from <laughs> from what I'm seeing right now, with Katsumi at, like, 75, you know, 50% health <laughs> without barely doing anything to Krauser, I think Krauser's going to win this one, too. I think it's going to take some counters, that little counter combo he's got, and some true mock punches for Katsumi to win this one. Okay, okay. So not only has Katsumi lost this round, but he got, like, 10 hit overkilled and, like, disrespected. He got missile drop kicked in the face. Like, 10 hits after he lost, too. Although I will say it's a bit cheesy that Carlos would keep spamming those fireballs. But, oh, 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 but he fell for the, the, the counter. So, you know, good on Katsumi. He, he's gaining some momentum here. And just as quickly as he got the momentum, he lost it. <laughs> He got him in a uh, combo with the um, the uh, the counter into the uh, like flip or whatever. He tried to land a, a spinning back kick or like you know literally back flip kick, and it did not land. And he just got cooked. That man just used Entei's eruption, and we got Oingo and Boingo in the background watching the fight there. All right. Come on, come on, look at this dude. I know, uh, look, I know he's got the combo bar, so he's probably going to beat Katsumi, because this is probably like a really good AI M. Bison. But come on, look at this dude, look at his face. Like, he's got the combo, he's got the hits. But if somebody like this, if somebody who has a face like that beats Katsumi, he will be even more disgraced than he already is. And I'm not talking about, like, disgraced from losing those fights before, you know? It was, it was a hard-fought match, you know? What could he have done against Sagat? Sagat was just too much, but come on! He's gonna be more disgraced than he is from, like, his... All of his showings from the actual anime and manga, because he literally loses every fight. But, uh, just like he loses every fight, he's just lost round one, and he's already getting hit with, like, a super-duper move. But I can I can almost guarantee if that bar hits three we're gonna see a mock fist a true mock oh it didn't even hit three we oh, oh it does so much damage I think he's still gonna lose but oh it did a little bit of damage to himself but oh 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 come back kid come back kid okay okay he's still got a leg in this race but he sure as hell doesn't have an arm as we just saw oh. I'm glad they don't make it so that he actually loses his arm like he does when he actually uses that move. I don't know if he can get off another mock hit, but if he can get off another mock hit, I think we can safely say that Katsumi can defeat one of these combo bar dudes. Like, these are some pretty decent AI. Oh! 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 Oh, Katsumi, come on! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it did so much damage, but it did enough damage for it to himself that M. Bison could take it. <sighs> Alrighty, guys, I think Katsumi has eaten enough shit today. I think this is going to be the last match we do for now. But, uh, you know, Katsumi, you know, he's got his chance to redeem himself in the final fight. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, that, that fight against um, Nega Rio... And that fight against Mike Bison just now, I think that in of itself is some redemption. But he just got perfected by Guile, so I think his near victories will be countered by his, like, total defeats from Sagat and possibly Guile if he doesn't start, you know, doing something. There we go. Like, actually pressure him in any way, shape, or form. 
I, I also I like I, I've seen it a few times, but I just realized what it was. Those those low strikes he does. It's the same thing he did to Sm oh oh ooh <laughs> oh my god! It does so much damage. It literally does like seventy five percent HP. And it does, like, 25% HP of, like, negative damage. You know, it does damage to himself. So, so long as he's willing to sacrifice about a fourth of his life, he can take about three-fourths of his enemy's life. Uh, that was beautiful. I, I think, I think at, at the very least, we can't consider this a stomp like it was with Sagat. He, he landed that hit. He's doing pretty decently against Guile right now. Even if he loses, I would say that his near wins against... Um, Mike Bison and Negarillo are enough to, yeah, they're enough to counteract the total ass whooping he got from Sagat. Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it today for Mugen. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of this stuff, you know, leave comments in the uh, comment section below about what characters you want to see fight. I think I'm planning on doing a Dopo video next. Uh, Katsumi did pretty good, but we, we got to hand it off to the king. It's, it's time for dad to step into the ring. Tiger Slayer, Man Eater, Cannibal Dopo Orochi, the god of martial arts. Let's see if he can actually, you know, put his money where his mouth is. Uh, so, you know, thank you guys for watching. Like, leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys stick around for the next one. I hope you guys subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll be around when the next one drops. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and that's it.